I have been asked to uh, explain about the um, rubbing back between coats. As you can see, it's quite a shine on it, as it is. Some people might think it's okay, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to be using 1200 grit to start with, and then I'm going to go on with 3000 just to make it nice and smooth. So I'll make a start. Just get the glasses on, see what I'm doing. Here we go. Something I never thought of, camera shake. Just get a bit of a key and make it nice and flat. Oh, I'm, doing. I'm not getting it down to the bare metal or anything like that. Just make it look a bit key. And any imperfections on it, bits of dirt or whatnot. To do sometimes getting blind on it, especially in a, a dirty old garage like this. <laughs> I'm going to put a foot sheet up some stuff, but there's no need for it really. Still get good results. Sorry about the camera shake, I've got it on the board the same as the next to me, so you can see. But it won't be long before I've Sanded it down. Just want to take the shine off it really, so it gets a good teeth of the new paint to on. You can see the colour there, see it? Right, now then. 3000. All I'm doing with this is just lightly rubbing it over. Get it nice and flat. Nice and smooth, I should say, not flat, smooth. It should be like a baby's bum. Oh, look at that, lovely. Just rub it all over. I mean, some people would, might have thought that shine was okay, but it's pretty good. But it's not what I want, I want it bright, I want it really shiny. So people come up and say, who sprayed your car? And I'll say, nobody sprayed it. And get me three inch brush out and say, I've done it with that. <laughs> so, that's that. Wipe it off. Like that. It's still looks shiny because it's wet, doesn't it? It probably is in places actually. I don't want to rub too hard because you're on camera on the you're watching on there. You'll be over the place. Let's try and dry it a little bit. Not the best day for it, it's a bit damp outside as well. Take a few minutes to dry off. Right now that's fully dry, nice and smooth. I've got my brushes, which is a three inch Harris brush, this one, with nice flexible hairs on it, and a tipping brush. 
which is a special brush, it's thin, it doesn't hold paint, it's, it moves paint about, that's what it's about. It just moves it gently. Yeah, okay, so we'll put that on one side. Here's the brush. And then, in this cut pot here, I've got the paint, which I've heated up in some water. I'll show you in a second. That's heated up. So it's nice and thin. Good stir. Okay. Put that there. And then we'll start. Can you see there? I think you can. Tilt it up a little bit. How's that? That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so get the brush nice and wet. Not too wet. I've got a brush bristle there. Stick it out, but it doesn't matter. Right, so all we do is start putting it on. You've got to be fairly quick. And all you do is put an even coat on. And that's where the tipping brush comes in now. So all we do with that is nice and gently. Take out the runs, not the runs, but build up a paint so it's nice and smooth. Put that on one side. A bit more paint. Go over it again. Make sure you don't get it too much in there because it will run. Always make sure you go back over the piece you've already done by a couple of inches. And that way it stays wet, the paint. How much I'm putting on? Just keep brushing it in, checking for runs. You might find a run here and there, but if you do, if you get it early enough, there's no need to rub it all down. It's just fine. You, see, you can't see very well in there because of. I'll just come put a light on it. That make it easy. Oh yeah, that makes it easier. I can see anyway. And then we just brush it in. it is to keep the brush moving and just gently wipe it I'm just gently touching the, the metal work hardly touching because I'm smoothing it out I don't want to move all the paint about I just want to get the ripples and the runs out really now over here I'm rubbing it in because I'm mixing it with the last lot that you can actually feel it drying a little bit so you've got to be fairly quick like I say as long as you don't do too much one go it's not so bad and it helps with heating it up because then it seems to flow better rather than dragging I mean, I use this as a tipping brush as well, but I 
hardly touching the surface, bouncing off. There's a bit missed there. Feel it under the brush. You get used to what it'll do and what it won't do. This stuff, it's very good. This is trouble when you're trying to demonstrate it to somebody. You just do it automatically, but now I'm missing <laughs> missing bits. Because I'm trying to show you at the same time. That's all you do. Like I say, if you get a run, don't panic. Don't try and take it out with your brush now because you'll make a mess of it. You're best off waiting and then sending it back, wetting and drying it back. And eventually, you'll get a good finish on it. And that's it, really basically, that's all, all there is to it. So I hope that's helped you. And I hope you have a go with yourself, it's, it's quite good fun actually. It's, uh, as you see the results, it's, it's good. So thanks for watching and I shall get back to you with another video when I'm doing something else. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Oh, by the way, you see it like it's rippling now. It'll just dry flat itself. It'll just merge together after about 20 minutes, half an hour. It'll just smooth itself out, self-leveling. So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope that's helped. Thank you very much. Bye for now.